Hello, senior class of 2021. By now, you should know that I'm Mrs. Michaels, vice principal of the Belfont High School. Here's a question. Can you identify the authors of the following stories? The names of the innocent and guilty have been protected. I was sitting at lunch and I accidentally popped a grape juice container. I know I'm not supposed to. Then a friend had one on his chair and he knocked it off and my foot accidentally stepped on it and I popped another one. My friend got mad at me for not waiting up for her after Spanish class, so she yanked my arm and yelled at me. The locker room deodorant mess comes to a conclusion. Seventh grader admitted to being guilty of the crime. He took his deodorant, put it in the heating fan, and watched as it flew out all over the locker room. A student stole multiple lunch items from a lunchbox, including a spoon. He refused to give them back, and upon further interrogation, he still refused. Me and my friend took out a piece of paper. We put a bunch of ink on it, then wiped it on someone's face. I know it was dumb. I walked into the library and an eighth grader looked at me. He was holding a pencil and I got scared. He keeps poking me in the arm and my gosh, is it annoying. I was waiting for my friend and a kid in my class held up his hand to give me a high five. So I held up my hand too. He had hand sanitizer on his hand. It went all over the place when we hit hands and someone in my eye. Now, I saved every incident report that was written at the middle school, and those authors can be found right here watching this video. At the time, those situations seemed so significant, and in that moment, they probably were. Now looking back, they seem so small. You will find yourself in instances like this as you continue to grow and have new experiences. Five, six, seven years later, you may wish for simpler times. The problems then were less significant. Significant Social and academic situations were simpler, and you knew you had years left in Belfont schools. But that chapter is about to close, the story is coming to an end, and you will begin a new book, which is always exciting. I've had the honor and privilege of knowing nearly all of you over the past seven years. In 2014, I took my first administrative position as vice principal at the Belfont Middle School, and you, you were just starting out at that school as sixth graders. You made your way from the little fish in the big pond to eighth grade, where you were looked up to by so many. Just when you thought you were done with me, we all moved up the street to the high school where I became your ninth and 10th grade vice principal. Now, here we are, seven years later, and I'm the proud vice principal of your senior class. I can say with pride that I've had the opportunity to watch you grow from little sixth graders to seniors who are again looked up to by so many. Individuals who are ready to go out and face new experiences to lend their talents to our community and society in new ways. This graduating class is resilient. You've been met with challenges over the years, whether they were as small as your basketball being taken in middle school phys ed and your classmate not giving it back to a global pandemic. No matter how big or small, you have risen above the challenges and kept your focus on making a difference for the greater good. If I may offer some advice, negativity is easy to see. However, it's important to recognize and appreciate the positive things in life. Take a minute to thank those who are important to you. Take time to help someone, take care of yourself, and be kind to others. I'll leave you with the words from one of my favorite rock bands, Disturbed. So now go do the best things in life. Take a bite of this world while you can. Make the most of the rest of your life. Make a ride of this world while you can, and hold on to the memories. I wish you all the best as you begin your new journey. Stay safe and make good choices. Hello class of 2021. In the words of every graduation speech ever told, we made it, we did it, and we're graduating. For those of you who might not know me, I'm Nathan, we went to high school together, and I was lucky enough to be our class president over the last four years. And that let me see all of the great things that we've done. We have raised thousands of dollars for good causes, we've had great athletes accomplish amazing things, and we had an extraordinary number of kids in the National Honor Society. And our accomplishments weren't made easy either. We had to deal with so much, especially this last year. Us seniors had to deal with a horrible thing that affected our grades, school life, and it's just hard to imagine a time without it. That being senioritis, of course. I don't know what you were thinking about. It's just hard to imagine we're graduating when it feels like the last school dance we were at had Mr. Gregor DJing in the middle school gymnasium. And we've all grown so much since then. We've become an amazing, talented, and attractive class, if I say so myself, and I can't wait to see all the amazing things we accomplish in the future. 
Good luck, class. Sunny day, take me down to Cover Lake. Take me back to yesterday, cause that's where I belong. On a rainy day, take me to that old cafe. We'll watch the teardrops drip away with everything. Down. 
stress Just do your best And fuck it all about the rest We could be the happy ones Yeah Very, very quite contrary Hello everyone, my name is Connor Bernier and I want to leave you with these words of wisdom from the one and only RuPaul himself. If you can't love yourself, how in the heck are you going to love anybody else? Now, can I get an amen up in here? Over the past 12 years, we've met many people along our journey to get us here today. Whether it be friends, family, teachers, or coaches, take the next few days to thank them. Thank them for their love, guidance, and support. Take the best of each person you met along the way and make the best version of you. Move forward with gratitude and remember, enjoy the little things because one day they may become the big things. Thank you, class of 2021. Searching for you is looking for me. We are timeless We are timeless We are timeless We are timeless You are water I am frozen Skies are moving I'm standing still in the shadows of your twilight
to my amazing teachers and friends who have helped me along this journey and especially thank you to my family who has always encouraged me to think happy thoughts and stay positive even through the hardest times. I would like to thank all my teachers and all my classmates who have supported me throughout my high school experience. You truly have made a huge impact in my life and I want to thank you all. Class of 2021, my name is Connor Bernier and I'm your class vice president coming to you live from my own bedroom. This year has been a crazy one and I don't think really anyone could have predicted that this would have happened to us. We made it through a global pandemic and for that I am so proud of each and every one of you. And I think it really just shows the tenacity that we have as the class of 2021 to really push through and show the world that we can do it and we can make it through even if we have to wear masks or not. And I just am so excited to see what we do after graduation and what we can do to change the world because I know that we can. And with that being said, I want to leave you all with a quote that has really stuck with me throughout this year of high school. And it's from the one and only Mrs. Journey herself. Be kind, be safe, be good people, make good choices. Vegas with a roommate, never mind all the lines on the highway. I aim to misbehave cause I'm just having a good day, having a good day, having a Having a 
of 2021. My name is Bella Corman and I'm your student council vice president. As a class, we have dealt with many challenges and hardships that have rocked our high school experience. Though, we have learned to prevail through this adversity and have come out even stronger. To my fellow classmates, my best advice for you is to never give up on your dreams. One of my favorite quotes by John Assaroff states, the strongest factor for success is self-esteem. Believing you can do it. Believing you deserve it. Believing you will get it. Class of 2021, believe in who you are. I'd like to thank you all and good luck in your future endeavors. Letting in a feeling, mending what we break. Fly. 
get dirt on my shoes I don't mind climbing eight more floors Cause these stairs are all head in the air. so I think it's pretty safe to say we made it. We just wanted to say thank you to all of our teachers, classmates, friends, and family for the past 13 years. Peace, Peace out, class of 2021! And tell the band to play one more slow song Cause you still have all my Hi class of 2021, it's been an honor to spend the past 12 years with you guys growing up, making all these memories, and the past two as your treasurer. I wish y'all the brightest of futures, and y'all gonna do great things. I hope you all stay positive, and make a change, even if it's small, big, whatever you look up to. It's been fun, thank you. so steady even gold won't turn your tide we flow together like an ocean every low and every high and I would have you anyway dear any way your heart could bear even if you had to leave me I'd always be waiting I've never known 
on a brighter sunset But every day I see it rise I never thought it could be better Until I saw it in your eyes Even when we are apart I will keep you in my heart I will hold Thank you to my family, friends, classmates, and teachers for everything you've done throughout my high school journey, and I wish you guys the best of luck.
I'd like to say thank you to my parents, teachers, friends, teammates, and everyone that's helped me along the way for these past four years in high school. I'd like to say good luck to everyone, and 13 years down, four more to go, and a whole lifetime of mistakes and changes. Gonna hit the ground running, baby, I'm running, baby, I'm running, 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 just as fast as I can. Gonna hit the ground running, 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 just as fast as I can. Gonna hit the ground
Hi everyone, I just wanted to let you guys know that I think you're capable of greatness and you're going to do great things for the society. I just wanted to remind you that you guys started your high school careers off with a hurricane and you ended with the pandemic. You got through it. So you can get through anything you put your mind to. Just remember to have a positive mindset, stay optimistic, and you'll be extremely successful and you will be able to uh, achieve whatever you put your mind to. Packer and I would like to thank my parents as well as the teachers, coaches, and friends that I've had throughout the past four years that have made my experience at Belfont Area High School memorable. in one place yeah but i see what you don't uh, will where you won't so don't dare let it go just hold on hold on yeah lift your eyes off the ground you only It's like a kiss of death Instead of doing what you're doing You get caught up in your head Feet on the road With your eyes on the prize Inch by inch One step at a time You're losing hope When you can't find A way to speed up the timeline But one day Though it might be a while It's gonna be worth every mile If you just Yeah. Oh, 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 o
it takes everything we have to face it without a sound we take a step inside our hearts are racing if it takes forever we'll get there together I'm Singing my song 
Congratulations on graduating, everyone. With this time that I have to speak, I want to leave you all with something unique. I want to leave you all with an idea. This idea does not have a title, but that's okay because it's the context that matters. The idea is that even after what we all just went through with the global pandemic and still trying to continue with our senior year, we still found a way to thrive and we reached anything that we set our minds to including the goals that we have for our emotional and mental selves. I believe that we all have the ability to be our best selves. I feel that the most beautiful aspects of life are the people that are not afraid to be their true selves. They are the light that fights the darkness. With this speech coming to a close, I want everyone to take a moment to themselves to realize that you are all beautiful people on the outside and the inside, and that you all have the potential to achieve this idea. Thank you. For as long as I can remember We have history, made memories I choose you and me, baby These are the days
graduation so I think it's pretty safe to say we made it we just wanted to say thank you to all of our teachers classmates friends and family for the past 13 years peace, peace out class of 2021, 2021.